Hey, Joe Brown, No Look Apparel. Welcome to my vlog. Um, little, uh, I don't know how to put this all together. Um, Ken Block is dead. Can't believe it. Uh, 55 years old. Died in a snowmobile accident in Utah. Um, in case you don't know who Ken Block is, I uh, did uh, rally racing. Uh, he was a pretty good driver. But what he was really good at was doing stunt driving and did a, a ton of Jim Conner kind of stuff and YouTube videos and um, just really ridiculous stuff. Um, you know, uh, had a 65 all-wheel drive methanol uh, twin turbo uh, Mustang, hung a wheel off of Pikes Peak with it. Um, and I uh, had a built little Ford Focus that he uh, hung a wheel off of a dock on and uh, did a really cool smoke show in England on that, uh, with that Mustang. Had it chained up and just blew off all four tires. It was pretty cool. Um, so, um, I mean, he died snowmobiling, so, you know, I'm pretty sure he's having a great time, but uh, not how you would expect someone like that to go. And normally uh, when famous people pass, it doesn't really bother me too much. Um, except for maybe Dale Earnhardt, and he died on a racetrack, so it kind of made a little bit more sense than seeing this. But, um, yeah, Ken Block is gone. And uh, I was going to talk about football because there were some awesome games on Sunday. Um, but uh, Bill Safety, DeMar, uh, DeMar Hamlin, um, had a heart attack on the field in the first quarter. It was just crazy. Just crazy. Um, made a tackle. And uh, got up and dropped. Um, so the NFL uh, stopped the game, which is probably the best thing to do just because, like, everybody was, like, it, it, not like it was a bad injury. It just, like, a 24-year-old kid just had a heart attack on the field. Pretty heavy. So uh, thoughts and prayers with that family. Um, yeah, just like every. Everybody in the sports world is a little bit of, yeah, trying to catch their breath there. That's a tough one. Um, so, for sports, I do have uh, NASCAR is talking about shortening a couple of the races. Um, the stage racing is making for uh, long TV times. So, uh, instead of 500-mile races, they're looking at shortening to 400 miles. So uh, I have mixed feelings about that. Uh, stage racing, your engine builders can already be uh, more aggressive. Um, so if now you're gonna take a hundred miles out of the race, you can add a lot more horsepower. Um, you can lighten up the, there's lots, tons of stuff you can do, wicked long list of stuff that you can do because they're making it so much easier on the car. Um, so you're changing the race. It's just kind of, I don't know, mixed feelings. They're already running slow. I mean, they're going so slow now. Like all the benefits that you would get from being able to hype up the cars, they're not even running what they were running 20 years ago. So I'm a little confused. Um, but anyway, um, I'll try to pay attention to what they're doing there. Um, and I mean, should see some fast cars, at least good qualifying times. Um, you know, if the car is only going to make it 400 miles and you're running stages, you're taking breaks, it doesn't have to run it all nonstop. Um, there's a whole big long list of stuff that you can get away with. Um, so the car should be going faster again. should be good racing. So, um, so I'm just going to talk about fashion just for a minute. Uh, Vivian Westwood passed. Um, so big, big name, been around for a long, long time. A lot of people, you know, obviously moved by that. So, um, sorry to hear that. Um, and it's not new news, but uh, Bill Hadid uh, was named uh, Fashion Model of the Year by the uh, British Fashion Awards. Um, and she just like had a totally blow the roof off here uh, between the spray on dress and, and uh, the fall fashion uh, month actually the whole month she was just like killing everything so that totally makes sense um most of the supermodels are on vacation uh heavy on the uh in paradise side uh they 
grand for uh, you know great beach weather and and uh, nice dining. Uh, a few chase snow, um, when uh, snowmobiling or skiing and stuff like that. Um, the two that held on the longest I saw were uh, Frida San and Cindy Mello did a uh, charity ward for uh, UNICEF, uh, UNICEF. It's a children's uh, charity banquet or whatever. Um, and then after that, they took off for, you know, warmer weather. So um, everyone just kind of chill, trying to enjoy the holidays with their family and friends. And um, I don't know, I guess, say, uh, be safe and happy. And, you know, if there's something you want to do, you might want to do it because just everybody got kicked in the chest this week is a little heavy. So uh, happy 2023. And uh, I don't know, get after it.